Hello there, my name's Dr. Andy Knox. I'm one of the partners at Ash Tree Surgery in Carnforth, which is part of the federation of practices that all work together across North Lancashire, trying to deliver the best general practice that we can for the north of this county, and also working as part of Better Care Together around Morecambe Bay. I know as a parent, one of the most distressing things to see is your kid crying because they've got earache. My daughter gets recurrent ear infections and I know how tough it can be to watch that happen. But actually 95% of all ear infections are actually caused by a virus. And so most times, if you let your kid's immune system fight it off, they'll get over an ear infection on their own. When they complain of a really, really sore ear and they've got a high temperature, there are things that you can do as a parent just to support them through the process. Paracetamol and ibuprofen nice and regularly. We say three to four hours apart just to keep the pain at bay and keep the temperature down. Let them rest. Earache's a horrible thing to have. Give them some just love and compassion and encourage them that their own body is gonna fight this infection off on its own. Very rarely, you might need to come and see a GP when your child's got earache. And the nurse practitioner or the GP will help understand whether or not you need some antibiotics. I'm gonna give you the clues of when an antibiotic might be needed so that you don't have to go to all the effort of trying to book a GP's appointment when you're gonna get that frustrating advice that it's a virus, go home. And that can be a very annoying thing to hear sometimes. So remember, actually most ear infections are caused by viruses and the immune system's fantastic at fighting them off. The things to look out for are these. If your child's got an earache lasting more than five days, that's often a sign that a bacteria's got in and you might need some antibiotics. You'll also see that they've got a temperature that's consistently higher than 38 degrees, despite the paracetamol and ibuprofen. If you see pus coming out of one of their ears, that's a sure sign that there's bacteria in the ear and that's gonna need some either antibiotic drops or some medicine. And the fourth thing is that if you've got earache on both sides at the same time. If those things are happening, do give your nurse practitioner or GP a ring and get an appointment to get your child seen and assessed further. But actually remember most times, earache on its own, especially on one side, will get better completely without the need for antibiotics. Support your child, allow them to rest, give them plenty of fluids, give them regular pain relief through paracetamol and ibuprofen, and you'll find actually they fight it off themselves in three to five days because our own immune systems are brilliant at fighting viruses, but they just need a bit of time.